while in secondary school, I was introduced into, to hard drugs. And gradually, I got addicted to it. And um, along the line, someone also introduced me to fraud, popularly known as Yahoo Yahoo, which I was making money from. And when I make money, I pay my tithes. And sometimes I, I go to some church, you know, to pray to get clients that can pay me money. And at the end of it, I, I still squandered money on drugs, womanizing, lodging in hotels, and all of that. So, and I thought I was living life, making money. Uh, to me, I was enjoying, not knowing I was insane. On the 7th August 2022, in the middle of the night, around uh, 12 a.m., I started coughing. And uh, the cough continued. At some point, uh, I started coughing blood. And this cough continued for close to two hours. And I noticed that the cough, uh, the blood I've coughed is about, <laughs> it's even more than two takeaways. My nose was blocked. I was not able to breathe again. I had to open my mouth to breathe. So at that point, I knew I was dying. So the moment I realized that I was dying, so I said a simple prayer. I said, God, please. Have mercy upon me. I know I've been a sinner, but just have mercy upon me and preserve me. That if you can keep me till 5 a.m. that morning, that I will go to church, any church around, and pray. So after saying the prayer, I don't know what happened. If I died, if I fainted or something, I don't just know. But immediately it was 5 a.m., my hands shakes. So I picked up my phone and checked it was 5 a.m. So I stood up and went to the church around me to pray. So after prayer, I went to the general hospital. So they ran a test. So when the test result came out, it, said, it showed that I had tuberculosis. That is a very serious one. That is at 87.87%. That um, since I started practicing as a doctor, you have never seen any case as serious as my own. And I asked me if I'm a Christian. I said, yes. He said, do I know how to pray? He said, yes. He said, I should start praying. That my chances of living or surviving is very thin. He referred me to another hospital and uh, when I got to the hospital, I gave the doctor the referral letter. He opened it, read it and, and gave me some drugs, uh, some medicines to take. I took that and that sat me down and started educating me on the tuberculosis and um, on the dangers that is in it. And he also said I would be on drugs for six months, that if I miss any day, out of it, I will start all over again. Meanwhile, I remember that there's this pastor that has always been inviting me to house fellowship from Winners Church. So that Saturday, I decided to go to the fellowship. So I met them and joined them. So after the fellowship, I met him and I told him what was going on. He prayed with me and invited me to the communion service the next day, which I did follow him. So after the message, I gave my life to Christ and I I partook of the communion. The following Sunday was anointing service, which I came with my bottle of anointing oil. During the service, Bishop David Doyedibo declared that whoever came here dying, that whatever it is that is dying in you, that is today reversed, that is restored, your health is restored, anything dying is back to life. I knew at that point, I knew it was me he was talking to. I shouted amen with a very loud voice. So he blessed the anointing and asked us to anoint our forehead, which I did. And he said, take the anointing oil with faith, which I also did. And after taking the anointing, it says it's done. After the anointing service, it was Monday. And that Monday was for me to go back to the hospital for a test. So when I got to the hospital, they ran a test on me. It was then and I told me that, that there's no trace of anything in me anymore. That it's not negative. Now I'm healed delivered from courtism, from hard drugs, from addiction, from frauding Yahoo Yahoo, I return all the glory to God.